Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of the OC Show. As you can see, we're currently sitting in a car and we're driving from Gamers Assembly to uh, to Lyon where we have a meeting with someone uh, who might be joining HW very, very soon. I'm here with Tim and with Isai, my name is Peter. Um, first of all, let's not forget the Q&A. Yeah, so like every OC Show, there's always a Q&A where you guys can ask us questions live, uh, where usually we just take more time to go more in depth about the different topics we're going to mention today. So the next Q&A will be this time at a different time from usual. Usually we do it on the weekend, evening on the weekend, but this time it's gonna be on Thursday evening, uh, Europe times around 9 p.m. Uh, GMT plus two. So guys, if you have any questions, once you've seen this episode, keep it or write it in the comments and we will reply to all of this during the Q&A. So, <laughs> lots of stuff happened, and actually, uh, like you said, we are in the car, and the Gamers Assembly was the first event we attended here in the in Europe, and that was quite an event, right, Chuf? Yeah, that was an event, uh, very impressive and uh, awesome for us. Uh, the Gamers Assembly is the biggest land party in France. There's uh, about 15, 15k people visiting the event every year, and there's uh, almost uh, more than 2,000 gamers actually participating. And there we had the HWBot World Tour Europe, stop with the so there was a, a gathering with some uh, some of the best french overclocker and some of the best european one that did uh, that did attend i remember that at some point we had like over like 10 french overclockers on the one huge table uh, all trying to compete and uh, and pushing the scores with uh, with ln2 um that was although the uh, world series the world series was won by uh der bauer roman uh, and the two chef from france as well as jinx man that was actually although at the North America event. So that was quite interesting to see him again at the, the second event. And although we had the World Series for Amateur uh, with over uh, over 100 people participating, so that was aimed at people that never uh, had uh, experience over clicking before or that never participated in any competitions before. And that was uh, actually a good outcome. And I really like the, the final, the one versus one. Uh, out of the 100 that took the workshop, there was 68 people, if I'm right, that did participate in the qualifier for the competitions for the amateur only. Yeah. So you, Peter, since you monitored the whole competition, was kind of the, the judge there as well with um, Albrecht for the final. What did you thought about the amateur competition? It was pretty interesting. We gave the guys only half an hour to compete on, uh, sorry, only 15 minutes to compete yep. in, the, in the final in the one versus one which was uh, 50 minutes less than what we gave the guys at the uh, line ETS in North America. And you could see the, the stress on some of the, some of the participants' faces to, to not only get a score, but also get a winning score. I think the, the, the winner of the, of the competition, he set the best scores for, uh, for each of the systems, for two of the systems uh, during, the, during the workshop and, um, and, the, and the final then. So he was, a, yeah, he was a deserved winner. He kept things very cool and he, he took notes and throughout the entire final competition yeah, yeah he, he showed that he was the, you know, the the rightful winner yeah i remember he had at some point more notes that you could not even see his keyboard anymore <laughs> so that was pretty cool and the second event we attended so last uh, just last weekend uh, that was the event uh, by asus in germany it was organized with pc games hardware and uh, their bow acc so roman and it was also sponsored by Seasonic, Jiskill, as well as Case King. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that event about? So the original plan was actually for PC Games Hardware um, and their Bauer to make a competition to introduce experienced overclockers who never tried LN2 to the to the principles and the ideas and the practice of cooling with liquid nitrogen. So the guys had to qualify uh, through a competition on HWBot and the eight best could compete in the live uh, the live event um, this weekend. So the first day on, um, on on Saturday, the guys were introduced to what is liquid nitrogen. How do you insulate your motherboard? Um, how do you prepare your 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 um, your CPU pot? Yeah. Um, how do you start the LN2 process? Uh, how can you and identify the cold bug and a cold boot bug and stuff like that? And they allowed they were allowed to to bench freely during the entire day. And on the second day, then there was a competition where uh, in three benchmarks: SuperPi 32M, uh, Cinebench uh, R15. And uh, the last one, I super Pi 32M. You said HW World Prime. HW World Prime. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to remember at the exactly. same time. HW <laughs> World Prime. And uh, the best, the best, um, uh, the winner there got a. I think they they all were allowed to keep the motherboard, 
and the top three was allowed to you uh, keep the memory as well. Yeah. The winner got some CPU cooling gear and, and the CPU too. And the CPU and the forty seven ninety K yeah. Forty seven ninety K retail. Just so they learned to insulate and everything in pretty much one day and Ben Shellen too. Any hardware that got problem with insulation or anything or no, no hardware failure whatsoever and it was all just liquid tape so no Vaseline no not that much neoprene a little bit of a uh, liquid tape and then a little bit yeah. of a neoprene to seal off from from the air so it makes it sound very easy I suppose that was the response from from plenty of the participants as well they they, they thought it was going to be more difficult to do this to do this uh, liquid nitrogen thing yeah. and turned out for all of them it was actually fairly easy yeah well, that's cool. I hope those guys will join and keep on benching. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I think five of them actually um, purchased a CPU pod at the event itself. <laughs> so they already prepared for... Someone for next must event. have been very happy. Yeah, <laughs> to prepare for next event, right? Okay. So, um, so this, was the, this was the second event in our, yeah. in our April Europe tour. The third event is the MSI OC Academy in the UK. And I think you have some more information yeah. on that. So that event in the UK is uh, organized by um, the guys from uh, Team GB, so Team Great Britain. Uh, it's one of the, um, th those guys are also um, very tightly connected to the MLG team, Midlife Gamers uh, Overclocking team. We did an interview last year and those guys are really cool and are really trying to, you know, uh, do something in the same approach where they would like to um, teach new guys to either learn about uh, overclocking in general, the very basic level, or just um, actually pass them to the next step and actually bench with liquid nitrogen or even just probably just try extreme cooling for the first time so they have this event it's gonna take place in a in a pub during uh, almost three days three four days well actually two days and a half um, and there they're going to have uh, different activities there's some competition there's some kind of uh, some one versus one matches uh, between participants and there's also some uh, workshops where same they're going to explain uh, how you can actually do uh, extreme overclocking for the first time probably for to the guys attending and uh, all this is pretty well organized like they took care of the booking of all the hotels and everything for the guys so it's going to be a quite interesting weekend and there will be a live stream as well so for the people that want to see what's going on and probably get inspired and try to do something in their own community that's probably one of the cool things to watch yeah pretty cool yeah so that's it for the events in europe and uh, before we move to another part of events, we should mention that there is a new Novice Nimble that has started. Yeah, so along with uh, two more Rookie Rumbles, there is a new edition of the, of the Novice Nimble. For those who, who don't know it yet, the, the Novice Nimble is a competition for the Novice Overclockers at, uh, at Age of Club. So those are the people who registered between three months ago and uh, one year yeah. ago. And the competition format is a little bit different than the rookie ones. First of all, there's five stages instead of three. And each of the stages, um, we, we gather the top three results of each team to, uh, to determine who gets the most points in mm. each ranking. So the important thing is that um, you work together with your teammates and you have a wider variety of hardware as well. So you need to make sure that you communicate within your team, you find people who, who can be engaged as well, who can be enabled to participate in another nimble. The last or the first, well, the last novice nimble, as well as the first novice nimble, <laughs> since this is edition yeah. two, was won by the French team of uh, of Kaukapland, and they yep. had 250 points out of the <laughs> maximum of 250 points. So they they, so they rocked all the stages. They rocked all the stages. Yeah, that maximum you can, attack. You can you can totally say that. So the novice nimble is here to stay, I suppose. Well, we'll continue. If we're number two, then there will be a number three, etc. Et we'll, we'll continue and see how it progresses. We're always, inter like, we're always interested in, in feedback and trying to figure out how we can engage the, the novices like we can engage the, the rookies. Yeah. The rookies, the rookie rumble is actually going quite well. We we had for the first time uh, the last rookie rumble over 1,000 submissions and over 400 people well, joining in the competition. Yeah. That was pretty pretty active and probably tough one as well to win. Yeah. <laughs> so talking about competitions, uh, there's going to be um, there's some competitions that actually actually just closed, which is the G Scale World Cup qualifier, and um, this brings us to the Computex topic. And there are many ways this year to go to Computex. There's also the Gigabyte competition, uh, the big XTU one. I think all the Z97 stages are closed now, but there's still some uh, X99 uh, stages going on, and. Um, 
Yeah, so what, what kind of competition can we expect true for Computex this year? So as you say, yeah, there's the um, Gigabyte Big XTU, there's uh, one competition from MSI, the, uh, I can't remember the exact name, the MSI, MSI, uh, MOA, Extreme Master Series. Extreme, Extreme Master, Master Series, series right? yeah. And uh, the Just Killer One, actually, the Gigabyte competitions and the MOA MSI competitions are actually bringing you to Taipei, while yeah. the Just Killer One, you have to pay for your tickets to go there. And uh, so there's one ticket available for the Gigabyte Big XTU competitions and there's two tickets available for the uh, MSI competitions. So a lot of people already um, told you guys they were coming to, to Computex? Yeah. So do you have some names? <laughs> you could I think maybe you, you, you yeah, yeah. well. <laughs> I'm going to Computex. Yeah, well I don't, I don't know, you know, because uh, it's true, we, uh, when we attended the game as assembly or even here in Germany, we talked to some of the guys on the way and there's already like uh, people like Albrecht, uh, Leekhoff that, I, that is going. I'm pretty sure Roman and APAC will be there for sure, no matter what. And um, so, so most of the guys that actually already participated in the qualifiers for the GSK one already have a ticket, even if maybe they're not qualified. Uh, Dan Cop was going for sure as well, yeah. and then I think Vivi qualified in the in the competition too. And Hazan, Lamet Capital, um, I, I think Splave also qualified. Oh. So that would be the, the top four. So we can expect to see all those guys as well. The H Dogbot gathering after that, at the World so, Tour yes. stuff. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, the World Tour. Asia, Asia is coming as well soon. <laughs> One more event to plan. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I think that's about it for this episode. I think we mostly went around all the topics. So now we have to go back on the road because yes, we were not just driving and filming this at the same time. And we are going to France to have some nice cheese uh, so we can um, yeah, so we can enjoy the, the time with our families. And uh, don't forget, uh, we will be once again live for the Q&A Thursday evening at 9 p.m. European time and that should be I don't know you're the professional of the other time zone Ah, <laughs> Six hours less than that if you are living in the All right, we'll just read it in the comments. <laughs> that'll be fine So right. next time see you guys. Bye